What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be choosing between a bag of $100 face value worth of 90% silver and a one ounce gold coin. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Got a brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a bunch of other designs. Many of the pieces are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I want to respond to a comment that I received on a video that I posted just yesterday. And the comment is coming from Silver Stanger, and he has a question for me. The question says, hey Mikey, question my friend, if a $100 face bag of junk silver and a one ounce gold coin were the same price and you had the cash to buy one or the other, which one would you, quote-unquote, trade your dollars for? And if it's junk silver, what will it be, quarters or dimes? Well, first and foremost, Silver Stanger, thank you so much for asking the question. I look forward to answering it throughout the course of the video. If you or anybody else watching right now has a question for me, feel free to head on down to the comment section and ask away. Maybe you're a new stacker and you want to know some facts and information. Maybe you're a long-time stacker and you just want to know my opinion on something. Or if you have a this or that question or a hypothetical question, you're more than welcome to ask away. And I will do my best to dedicate an entire video to you and answering your questions. So, any questions, head on down to the comments. Now, this is actually somewhat kind of sort of similar to a video I made about a month ago. I believe I was comparing a 100-ounce silver bar to a 1-ounce gold coin. However, it's a little bit different because even though gold, we're talking about the same increment, when it comes to silver... A ton of little teeny tiny individual coins in comparison to a one big block of silver, I think it's a little bit different. I think it's very different, actually. So I'm looking forward to this video. Now, just for the sake of clarity, spot price of silver as I'm filming the video is $17.27, while gold is $1,477.50, and... If we were to put side by side the exact dollar amount between the two options at hand, the $100 face value bag of 90% junk silver would be a little bit over $1,300, while a one ounce gold coin would be roughly $1,500. So just for the sake of the video, we're just going to meet somewhere in the middle. Forget the dollar amount. Let's just pretend they cost the exact same dollar amount to the penny. Which would I choose? Now, obviously, they have their pros and cons. Got a nice big bag of junk 90% constitutional silver. And then we could choose between that or an arbitrary one ounce gold coin. We'll just be using the gold buffalo for the sake of the video because that just so happens to be my favorite gold coin on the planet. Now, which would I choose? As I've been saying for the last couple of months, I've been really wanting to diversify a little bit further with gold. Many people know that my primary focus is on silver and every now and then I'll pick up a fractional piece of gold if you don't believe in picking up fractional pieces of gold, don't pick up fractional pieces of gold. I believe in it, so that's what I'm going to do. We can all do different things. And I would really like to diversify. I want more gold. That's what I would like to have. However, being so drawn to the gold buffalo, if I were to choose that, right now with my current stance on precious metals and with the spot price difference and the silver to gold ratio i feel like if i were to choose the gold buffalo that would probably be an emotional decision just because i'm just so 
attracted to the coin. That's just something that I desire to have. I really would like to have a gold buffalo. However, in today's video, I think I would much rather go with a logical decision, and I think I'm going to be steering in the direction of silver, even though I'm not that big of a fan of junk silver, I'm not that big of a fan of 90% constitutional silver, I would much rather have pure silver as opposed to 90%, but for the simple fact that it is silver, I'm going to go with the silver, even if it's junk silver, even if it's not pure silver, even if it's a huge big bag, $100 face value of junk silver, I'm going to go with the silver. And the reason for that is for the same reason I always talk about. In my opinion and from my perspective, I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take anything I say as financial advice. In my opinion, I believe that there is more room to grow and perform over time if we're talking about silver. I personally don't foresee gold doing anything dramatic. I don't foresee gold significantly dropping or raising silver on the other hand i truly genuinely wholeheartedly believe that silver is going to double in value over time maybe triple in value over time maybe who knows could potentially even quadruple in value over time and you know while we're talking about things that we can't exactly predict or foresee a hundred percent it could go beyond that we don't know silver has already been in the 30 40 $50 range, and right now it's not even $18. So with a big bag of junk silver worth, you know, right now, let's just say for the sake of the video, is worth $1,300, $1,400, that could very easily turn into something that's worth $2,800 if the spot price were to do something as measly as double which it has done plenty of times. So I'm going to go with the silver. Now, if I had to choose what kind of 90% silver coins I would go with, if I had to choose between quarters, dimes, or half dollars, I think I would rather go with the half dollars. I think they're a little bit easier to work with. Give or take about every three half dollars is the equivalent to roughly one troy ounce of silver. So I know that by hanging on to three individual half dollars, I'm looking at roughly a little over $17 worth of silver content. And if it were to double in value, I know I'm looking at something over 30 bucks. My second option would probably be dimes just because you have more coins to work with. I know that every dime right now is worth, I don't know, about $1.40, give or take. So if spot price were to double each individual coin would be going on about three bucks, which I think is pretty cool. I think I'm going to go with half dollars, though. If every coin, every single 90% half dollar is worth roughly, let's just say, seven dollars right now, if it were to double, every coin would be worth about $14. So that's just one way to look at it. That's just my stance. And I'm curious, everybody watching right now, what would you choose? A big bag of... 90% junk silver or a one ounce gold coin, assuming that they were worth the exact same dollar amount. Let me know in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Post a bunch of videos over there, all things money, not just about silver, not just about gold. We talk about industries where a lot of money is being made. We talk about some sports betting. We talk about all different things. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, but of course we have a bunch of other designs that have been up for grabs for a while now. A lot of them are being sold to raise funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. Number one, if you have any questions for me, please ask away. I will do my best to dedicate an entire video to you and answering your question, but also... 
Please answer the question with me. What would you choose between a $100 face value bag of 90% silver or a one ounce gold coin? And let's take it a step further. What kind of silver would you prefer? Quarters, dimes, half dollars, or if you pick gold, what gold coin would you choose? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.